one guess to figure out what the hell this is. And essentially, that's a trailer. That's a good trailer. That should be about 24 or 26 feet long. This isn't an exact one. But you can see all around it, we've got different trailers. This one's a gooseneck. It's important that it's a gooseneck. Now, crazy as it may seem, what if I told you I could build a house on that? It wouldn't even be illegal. I could build a house on this. There's some more in the background. Of course, I would need a heavy-duty truck to pull this, even with the house on it. But this can be done. Alright, note to self, don't just hit the X. This would be my kind of house color scheme. I'm going with more of the nature vibes, mostly because brown is my favorite color, green is my second favorite color. The gray, the, like the blocks of gray are just because I ran out of colors to list. Now this, this isn't saying what kind of sink I'm going to get. This is saying what it's going to be made out of and what I want the general sinkiness to be. I plan on it being more square, but it is going to be made out of wood, you know, covered with resin. That'll have to be maintained with resin every year. But it would be a cheap alternative to physically buying a $300, $400 sink. Because all you would need is the wood. And then you just have to carve it out. Or I guess, in all technicality. Yeah, carve it out. I suppose you could try and do your best to keep that as a solid block, but it's highly unlikely. And you can, I could find use for the wood chips is probably kindling. It'd just be much cheaper to buy the wood, have a chisel, and uh, make my own sink, as opposed to buying in an, any kind of metal sink or ceramic. Which moves me on to cheap, small, affordable ovens. Now, I need something that'll work on propane, because I'm not going to be hooked up to a gas line. And electrics are kind of finicky. So, what I found is a literally intended to be portable oven. This top will lift up. So what I could do is that brand on the top looks indented, but I could just pour clear resin into that or something. I'll figure out something. I don't know, maybe save some of the wood from the sink. Just make sure it fits snugly into that so that I could make that a flat surface 
or just leave it as is and keep the accidental indents in anything that cooks on or anything, or anything that gets mixed. So that could double the counter space a bit. And then, after you undo that clip on the side, that'll fold up, and that's where my three burners are going to be for my stove. It runs on propane, it has an oven, and it would be big enough for a medium small pan pizza. I'm not going to be able to do any of the store-bought fucking frozens, unless they're like, small, like under a foot small. But you could fit a pizza, you could fit a little casserole, you could fit a lot of shit in that thing. It's easy to use. I, actually, it might not have three burners, it might only have two. But I don't need that many burners. And, as opposed to a microwave, I could again use the burners. And for any amount of hot water I need, this is a one quart stainless steel kettle. As long as I keep this shit dry, and I do intend to kind of, kind of redo a handle, and then turn that little hook at the top into more of a knob. What the fuck, Ryan? I said propane. It's a type of gas. Anyway, that kettle. I might need to make something myself to be like a whistle. But it's a functioning kettle. This, this is going to be more of, But this is going to be more of the bathroom sink. That's because it's small. I don't need anything big. It'll just have the piping in it. Some toilet paper, likely. And any of my menstrual supplies. It's got space for soap. It's got space for toothbrush. Got space. Now you may have noticed in the main plan here that my chair kind of goes under my desk down here, and my desk ain't that big. Well, that's because this is gonna be my desk chair. It's small, it's foldable, it goes on the floor, and since my loft is only gonna be like Four feet tall. Like, you're intended to crawl into this thing and crawl out of this thing. So, a small chair. A small chair fits nicely. That's gonna be nice and flexible. I can fold it down, turn it sideways, slip it under the desk when storing. This is going to be this the tile style with dark and light for the kitchen. It might be the same for the shower, which is going to be kind of basically a shower and a curtain. It 
in the kitchen, there's also going to be this, except we're probably going to make it out of spare wood from the counter. So it's going to be more of a dark wood, but this is pretty easy to make oneself. Something for drying silverware, something for drying plates, as we're not going to have a dishwasher and we're not going to... Yeah. So instead of a dishwasher, we're going to camping draw camping wash our plates and silverware and they're gonna need somewhere to dry so that can fold up and then fold out so that'll save space this is just what it's gonna sit on it's a nice little uh, pad ryan i do not have a license but i have an older brother who does who is in theory going to be coming with me and if he doesn't, then I will likely just get over my anxiety and get my license. Uh, if you make most of the things yourself, build it yourself, and all that snaz, we could be looking at a build under 20,000. So obviously, this would be me moving, and then me saving up, secretly. Construction could take a year or two. I'd need to buy some place where the trailer could sit, and obviously keep the trailer maintained. But it wouldn't be as expensive as making an actual house. So that's what the drying rack's gonna be on. The silverware, now this may look like copper silverware, but this is actually stainless steel with copper paint. Simply because, although I would really like everything to be made of copper, copper is fucking expensive, copper is fucking heavy, and anything copper is not going to survive near my brother. Under 20k, Ryan. Under, so cheaper. This is just the basic house locks, you know. This would be for the doors inside, not the actual house itself. And then we get to my more creative invention. Invention. Refrigerators, even small ones, can be thousands of dollars. However, I found that chest freezer for essentially a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, cheap chest freezer, and I'm gonna buy two of them because you can buy a new thermometer or a new temperature setting. For like 10 bucks and if you swap that out you can then pretty much convince your chest freezer it's a refrigerator and since it's a chest and cold air goes down instead of like a refrigerator where you open the door the cold comes out with a chest you open it it'll all stay down there so it's also more energy efficient not to mention this is already an energy efficient freezer so all I did was trick one of them into thinking it's a refrigerator by changing the thermometer setting. Which again, very cheap, easy to do. And even though it's a little bulky, it will store a good amount of food for how much I eat and my brother eats. This is a rough draft for the shower. That's why it's just literally lines on lines with more lines. 
It's a rough draft shower idea. And now heating. I'm not 100% on any indoor heating system, as that'll take my propane, and that could be expensive, and I plan to be in remoter areas. So, for remoter area heating, I figured a cubic mini, which is a very small fireplace, basically, will heat the space, since the space is small, very well. Plus, I could literally go into the forest, find dry wood, cut it up to the appropriate size with a tiny hand axe, and yeet it into this fucker. Will it need more filling than something bigger? That is true, yes it will. However, with the fact me and my brother do not have schedules that line up, exactly. He's got one sleeping schedule, I've got a different sleeping schedule. Which means one of us is likely always going to be awake. Which means in the winter, we can heat this little fucker nonstop. Or as much as needed. We'll have to see before we put it in there how the heat spreads, how much it needs per hour. Because then we might have to work in some fans, or something to move the heat around. But overall, this is a very cheap, inexpensive way to heat it, costing only a thousand dollars. As opposed to heating systems, which could be more than a thousand. This is my basic idea for my spice rack. Just because there's not really going to be room for a spice rack, it's either going to be the bottom set up to a wall with Velcro, and I can pull it off by reading the lid of seeing which one I need, pull it off by the lid, unscrew it, use as much as I need, screw it back on, shove it back on the wall. Or like this, where the ingredients are likely to be written on the side, or I'll just have memorized uh, which fucking one. But anyway, this is going to be very easy to keep track of my spices, keep them off of the counter space, which I'll need for cooking. Which, I don't have a picture for it, but instead of like a fruit basket, I might have more of a fruit hammock. Even inside of the freezer, there will be a fruit, or sorry, refrigerator. Don't freeze the fruit. Refrigerator might have a fruit hammock as well. Fruit vegetable hammock. Just to ensure that, because if you leave things on the counter, sometimes that one spot touching the counter goes bad and nothing else does. This is just a very simple faucet. I want one like this because dream, shower, disconnects. And it's important that it has flexible and disconnect. Because if we park somewhere a little uneven, just for like a little bit, a flexible disconnecting shower head is going to allow us to not have the water like shoot out of the sink or something, but just be more able to be aimed. This is a small pantry. As you can see, it's in actually, it's a, this is actually a photo from someone's house bus.
So this is just a very slim, space-friendly pantry. Now, I'm not quite sure how the shelving is going to work. It might pull out, it might not. This was just one of my ideas for it. I want to be space friendly because I have to keep as much space as humanly possible. Which is why instead of like actual handles, these are going to be my handles. I pull them to pull them out a little bit. And when we're about to drive somewhere, you push the drawers closed, you pop that down so that little tab goes into the circle. And that pretty much locks your drawer closed to ensure they can't open while you're moving. This is how the, this is how the countertop might look, keeping that nice live edge is a large wish of mine. Like a piece this size might be cut down in the middle for me and then we wiggle it in. really nice. If I ever need to put cabinets or anything in a corner, this was one of my ideas. This was just an idea of how flush I want my drawers and cabinets, as opposed to anything with fancy pop-out. Like how in normal setups, you have that edge in front of the main area. I want mine to be very, very flat. Now this, as opposed to not what it looks like, is going to likely be going into the bathroom. Because that, that's a clothesline. That'll likely be crossing the entire shower, and that'll be for, say, swimsuits, or clothing that just did not dry in the dryer. If I don't have room for drawers for proper doors, I'm going to be fitting barn doors in. I found these really nice blinds which can either go full blackout, temporary blackout, or I think there's an option where it's just a mosquito screen, which I will want. I do plan to have a nice big art table, and my art table is going to function like this. It can float down, so if I need the space to do something in that room, I can fold it down. Because anything I have, I need to know how to save space. This is the idea design for my front door, which is a Dutch door. Simply what? Because I want the ability to be able to just open the top, or open the bottom, or open it all at once. So a Dutch door will allow me in the summer months. And I'll likely have, like, a screen netting thing I can unroll that's pretty much just fucking magnets. 
to ensure none of these little fucking mosquitoes get in. But, yeah, I'll just open the top, roll down the bug screen, velcro it to the sides of the door frame, and leave that shit to breathe. Now, toilets. Toilets are going to be very difficult. I cannot carry enough water on board. Nor can I hook up to sewage. Enough to have a toilet function. With water, that is. However, this is an option. Now, many of you might not know what this is. I'll explain it. In the back is where you would have dirt, coconut shavings, mixed in with your shit. Because that would then let it become compost. And in the front, that is where pee goes. In, after it's been divided, or, you know, by the urine divider. Boys will likely have to sit down, just so they can aim correctly into it. You, er, you empty the urine thing every week or so. Depends on the guys. Depends on who's using it, how much. The compost can be emptied every week or two. And as long as you're using nature-friendly composting toilet paper, and you're making sure to keep the coconut shavings, pine shavings, dirt, peat moss, or peat, whatever you're using to mix in with your shit to help it compost faster. As long as you keep that even, the composting can then be emptied at certain facilities, at sewage places, might be able to get away with being in right in the middle of the fucking woods. This doesn't require being anywhere near civilization, except to pick up the mail of more compost. So this would allow much, 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 much easier emptying. Because let's say once a week you pull into a gang, you call into somewhere or if you find someone with like a public toilet, you sneak this fucker in, and you just flush a toilet and toilet and pour in the urine until that's all gone. Or I don't know how else you would get rid of the urine. Maybe at a porta potty place. And the waste can get rid of, and the solid waste can be ri getting rid of many other ways. And then we just have my pick for uh, the fucking dish towels. Dish towel, dish towel, dish towel. You know, some of these are actually full body towels. I think. Like, I'm pretty sure this. No, wait. One of these is a full body towel. Or it might come in a full to body towel size. And it's just because I need mo new fucking towels. Which ties into, you know, that's everything. Now, for most of the construction, I'll likely be building it with my own metal and with my own purchased wood. So, the bookshelf made myself, the ladder made myself, the basing for the stove will be made myself, countertops made myself, sink made myself, windows, I just need to buy the double paint glass. Uh, shower made myself. Toilet, if I can't afford that toilet, I can make it myself. <laughs> Sink made myself. Bookshelf made myself. Table, might have to buy it. Might be able to buy the pieces and make it myself. The storage stairs can be made myself. All the doors can too. Desk can be too. Bed, 
bed's pretty easy to work with. You just cut down some foam, or cut down whatever you want your material to be. Make your own bed. Buying the chair is going to be one of the more expensive things. So it is buying the fridge and freezer, the stove, the fireplace, uh, the screens, the AC I'm going to need to probably buy, pet food bowls, I'm working on it, plates and bowls. I'm trying to find some well-made wood ones. Haven't been able to, but I don't want to go with porcelain because porcelain are heavy. I'm trying to find some very nice lightweight bowls and plates that match, that don't come with silverware, because I've already picked out the silverware. So that's that. And then finally, there's the dream pet. The one thing I really, really, really want to own. So, this is not a horse. This is a mule. They're more sure-footed. They're often smaller. They've got a little bit more attitude. And the benefit of having a mule is if my friend manages to move next to me, we can house his goats and sheep with my mule. And he will not have to probably worry about any kind of guard animal, because mules are known to fuck up shit with most predators. Coyote, grab it by the neck, shake it till it snaps. Wolf, kick it in the teeth, no more bottom jaw. Mules can be protective little shites. So this would not only be a good riding pet, this would be a guardian animal as well. However, they do require special equipment. This is a western mules, mule saddle. Where they've got the front attachments, the back hand attachments, just the entire harness that is required. Then we have the back part of the English attachment. So we've got just the tail loop. And we've got the chest harness for English riding mule as well. And this would be the ideal type of, er, ideal color of mule, but I'll take any color of mule. And that is essentially mule. That is essentially my entire third house, not the current place I'm moving, plans. Which is pretty much building it myself, or with paid help. Making it so it's all customly my size. Make sure it completely works for me and my brother. And just... My life plan. Now let's get back to training dragons.
I'm looking for here is to get plants. So I can get James back in the game. I'm probably better off getting plants here. Also, if anyone's wondering about electric power in that thing, I plan to have solar panels and a battery bank. So I will essentially be sun powered. I should probably only need two or three solar panels. boarding blue 
blooming grove. I need plants. I entirely forgot she had a lemonade. He needs a lemonade, but he's not big enough. I don't, he might be big enough. Yeah, I'll slap it on him after this. You're not getting any XP. She did him dirty. Don't touch the potion. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I 
Working on his way When you make it You gotta know Oh, simple things Like what tomorrow brings When you're locked out in the cold Whatever When I got you by my side Just breathe it in You'll see Bring me love songs every day Bring me more than I can take I want happiness galore You know I gave you some, I gave you more Let's not focus on the mess Let's stay happy, let's say yes I want happiness galore you know, I gave you some, I gave you more. Whoa, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple things could be anything. I can reach that nose when you're lonely. Bring me love songs every day Bring me more than I can take I want happiness galore Oh, I gave you some, I gave you more Let's not focus on the mess Let's stay happy, let's say yes I want happiness galore Oh, I gave you some, I gave you more Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat didn't update. Thanks, Argo. Uh, the house is going to be after I move. Hi, Kevin. Thank you. KDT, thank you. Uh, solar panel isn't the greenest energy, as they're really shitty on being recycled. But... As long as they last, as long as they need to last. And I don't let them get, like, fucking broken by hail and shit. Then they should be cheap. Efficient. And eco-friendly by the fact that, uh... Hopefully I don't pollute too much. Uh, for the days it doesn't rain, it'll get energy. For if it snows or rains... There is a thing where I can also connect my battery banks to the alternator of the truck. And therefore, as we drive, it'll also charge it and the car's battery. You live and you learn. 